Good morning, guys. I came out here last night to check on my garden, and the dadgum wild turkeys had dug up just about all of, or they don't dig them all the way up, but they eat the tops of the potatoes, so I thought I'm just going to get them dug up before I lose everything. But I had a couple requests to show how it's done. Since I can't do it one-handed, and I don't want to traumatize any of my subscribers, I went in by seeing what I look like. I uh, went ahead and dug several hills up. I, I don't know, I had less than 10 left by this morning. But I thought I'd give you a chance to see how potatoes grow and how you dig them up. Potatoes are a very simple crop to grow. Um, I've planted, I think I told you before, I planted the expensive organic ones and no luck. Um, this year I went to the farm store and got some of the seed potatoes there. But the ones I had the best result with was I bought like 20 pounds of potatoes at the store. Let them sit around for a while. They started to sprout. And what you do is you just cut them up in pieces until you have a couple of eyes or little sprouts on each one and drop it in the ground. Um, potatoes don't go down. They don't grow down. They will a bit, and a part of it's my soil is so hard. Um, so you have to hill them. As potatoes grow up, you want to go around and, and pile dirt up around them. Mostly what I had left in, in the garden was my blue potatoes, and this is an experiment. First time I did it, eh, it was okay. Um, but I'll show you. I went along and dug them out. Um, you might have seen my chickens when we first started because they come and eat the worms as I dig them. I was hoping they'd hang around. They're usually here the whole time I'm digging potatoes and make sure they clean up all the worms, but they'll probably come back when I'm done. Um, I'm gonna zoom in and show you some of what I've got. These are the blue potatoes. They're kind of hard to see. This plant didn't get very big, and I see we have some of these yellow. I've got a chicken that just showed up, so I'll share her with you. But after I get all the potatoes off of the vine, then I compost, I have a compost pile. If I remember, I'll show it to you. But there's not a whole lot here. Um, so I am a little disappointed in that, but that's not unusual with something like these blue potatoes. Uh, I was gonna show you also how potatoes grow. Is these roots go down, where's it at? These roots grow down and little potatoes then start off of the sides. And let's see. I've got a few down in here, small ones. These are what they call new potatoes. You really don't even have to skin them. Um, I just clean them up good. If I think about it, I'll show you a really cool way that we clean up a bunch at a time. Um, I've got a little bit bigger potato. Hard to tell the mud from the potato, isn't it? A little bit bigger potato here. There's some little bit bigger ones there. And I was going to show you the tool that you use to dig potatoes. Um, I did wound a potato with my potato fork. Um, I think it's this one. I went all the way through with a hole but we'll just eat that potato today. It's not gonna hurt anything. I've got, I'm gonna try to do it. There's a few potatoes on this one. Not too bad, not too bad. I won't be canning them. We saw what they turned out. Um, I will get my potato fork. Whoops, I didn't even want you to see my shadow. Um, look at those little girls like they're not going to eat, but what you do, one reason I didn't want you to see me, guys, is it's about 100 degrees, so I'm out here in shorts. I'm usually barefooted, but this is a potato fork. It looks similar to a pitchfork. The tines are shorter and not as narrow or sharp, and you put it about six to eight inches away from the stem that goes into the ground, right there, and I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Push down, bring it up, 
and there's your root ball and shake it and there's potatoes looks like I skinned that one too but I'll come back you don't want to watch me clean all these potatoes up if I knew how to link my videos together I would this is an iPhone 7 and um, it won't let me pause there's a chicken she's getting those worms I think I've told you before, my chickens are all free range. Our cattle are on out on big pastures, grass fed. Uh, yes, we raise animals for feed. So um, there's my mystery plant. Um, I'm afraid it's a uh, pumpkin, but I was hoping for spaghetti squash, but by the shape of the leaves, I'm pretty sure I'm getting another pumpkin. That's okay. I'll come in later, and we'll harvest some carrots and, and onions, and um, I'll show you. I've got some pumpkins, pretty good-sized pumpkins. So I'll end this one and get it uploaded. Bye-bye.